Hey, my Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Tennis Manager 23. This is episode 33. I think we've kind of reached a stage where low-level tournaments are quite easy, high-level tournaments are quite hard, Grand Slams are quite hard. So we're in a little bit of a no-man's land where the right proper competitive format, I think, is some development away from being a real possibility which means we've got to kind of bide our time, get through, survive, keep our ranking stable where it needs to be to accomplish just about enough of our goals, and in the meantime, progress. We, of course, then need to also sit back and see what happens with our two athletes, whether they're both going to continually get one injury after another after another, and as we bring in more athletes, kind of continue on with that trend and test the waters on whether that's a real thing, whether it's something horribly unbalanced about the game that I might want to approach the devs about. Uh, that's one of the few people that do have some direct contacts with them and could maybe bring that knowledge to their, you know, uh, make them aware of it. Right now with just two athletes, sample size is a little too small to know. But yes, we have one that is getting injured regularly and has been for a year and a half now. The other one's only been with us for a handful of months. It's our first injury, so it's... How long has it actually been? Was it March? Was it April? It's not been long. So it, it did come on pretty quick, but at the moment, I don't know that it's a real problem yet. I'm just concerned that it might be. But in the meantime, for Clarice, our leader, the one who stays healthy, who's had one injury in all these years, well, for her... If we go slow, I don't think we're progressing much. I think we're going to have to speed things up for a little while. So let's get started with a thousand level in Rome, uh, where we come in with a fairly equal first round match, a very difficult second round match. We're not going too far with this one. In fact, we're not even going to the second round. Our form is quite low right now. No surprise considering, you know, the, the level of opposition we are regularly faced with. And of course, that new strategy becomes a little mix of high and low, not just what's appropriate for us, but where we can go in, dominate, compete, win to regain some form versus where we're going to go and struggle to maintain form. If we could find a balance between the two, we might just about get ourselves a little more competitive in those tougher matches. Apparently, this time last year, we scored a big haul of points because Clarice comes into this one at 39th. She's now 65th on her real-time rankings. So that's going to impact things going forward. We're going to be coming in as a lower seed. And we're going to have some recovery to do to try to get back up into that top 40. Losing in the second round against an incredibly weak opponent is definitely not the way to get there. 6-3-5-7-5-7. 11 double faults. 71 winners, but 10,000 unforced errors, which is hardly an exaggeration. We still won the majority of the points and yet go home to a, a player that had us absolutely no business being on the court with us. <laughs> this is the struggle now that we're in that intermediate zone. Talk about flipping the scripts. We couldn't find the form anyway, but now we can't even find a seed. It's only a 250 level tournament in Strasbourg. And we're up against Ashlyn Kruger, who's right about where we were in the rankings just a couple weeks ago. And now we find ourselves 65th. A huge drop from where we were just a short while ago and completely unseated. And of course, we draw somebody who was ranked right about where we were. So good luck to us even getting out of the first round, let alone, you know, making it to, say, a quarterfinal. 4-2 in the first, but we clearly have a situation here. We don't know whether we are coming out on top or bottom on this one. Somebody has withdrawn early from this match. No notice as to what the injury is. Rekorkova has just recovered from hers. We're just about to get her back in for the next tournament. Of course, now none of our athletes are in form right now. None. Not a one. But for Clarice, 
comes injury number two for her with a 19, almost 20 natural fitness. Yeah, it's a weird one that it did not give me a message regarding what the injury was, but it's already down to moderate a day later, so it's not severe. But a moderate injury, just we are having a really rough time here of late with this playthrough, with this team, with what's going on. And this carries over into the French Open with Thurman might be a first round exit no matter how you look at it she's not recovered from the injury yet and we're up against the 19 seed so we are unlikely to progress even if we are healthy enough to compete or hobo at least gets a qualifier in bueno might have a chance to uh, at least escape one round uh Kasadzeva, her Likely opponent for the second round means that's as far as she would make it, but at least she would get that much. And they're the only two that are here. And there it is. Ongoing injury and forfeit is the outcome. So we aren't even progressing beyond the first round because for a change, it's Thurman who has picked up the injury and the injuries just continue to mount one after another. And yet somehow... It's not a forfeit. It's this ugly mess that's going to destroy some of our stats for the year. That's a strange one. Urhobo also out in the first round. So that's it for our French Open. Uh, tough days here at the Academy. I think what I'm in need of now is some sort of attempt at an alternate strategy here to try to avoid injuries or at least cut down on the intensity and or time frame of injuries. It's becoming the central, it's the centerpiece of the series right now. It really is. I, I hate it. Absolutely hate that this is becoming all about injuries. There is ways to address it. The main thing about these though, looking at all of them injury duration reduction it's just how long it's not how often it's about how long they are injured all five of these are injury duration this one does have some sort of training or treatment but that doesn't mean it's going to keep them from getting injured it just means we have a new training which is muscle massages can that help us prevent injuries i doubt it but we'll find out we'll We'll put that in. Uh, this is going to be done in a day, our cold therapy room. Go ahead and take this yoga and meditation room. At least it does help us make uh, some extra profit, a 1% reduction. I, these are all, I think, 1%. No, that one's 5% for the hydrotherapy. Uh, also, training session coming in. So we're going to invest in that one instead. Last one also has a 5% uh, reduction, but it comes at a much higher cost behind the face cam here it's 854,000 so it's a bit of an expensive one uh, we do still have some money do i want to get the full shebang the the seven percent reduction you know what Let, let's let's just do it we're, we're gonna get on with mass medical center upgrade uh, we finally get rekarkova back in a tournament for the first time in quite a while and despite having no form she's able to get to the semifinal, but probably would have won very easily had she not been in that situation rekarkova meanwhile number one in the juniors we've kind of stopped putting her there she only won one of the two tournaments she was in and i think that was before she signed up with us or right at the beginning of it uh, not sure which uh, she also jumps from a 1100 to two 25 in the rankings, winning one of the four tournaments she was in at a senior level. So it was a good period for Rekarkova despite the injury, but Urhobo, not going anywhere. Only one win in five matches played. Thurman, also struggling. Won a tournament. Picked up some points, but you can see how it's less points than what we normally had, and her ranking has plummeted from 32nd to 62nd. 100 level, or 140, a one seat, 
seemed like it could and should be an opportunity for us. But what is essentially the nine seed at this tournament is who we get in the first round draw. And with no form and bouncing back from an injury, this could be difficult for us to try to come through this tournament with much success. We really do need to get a few wins under our belt to at least make some progress on that form to bring it up a little bit. And we do survive the first round, if only just. 61% uh, of points won is not if only just, but it still didn't feel as strong or as dominating as it could or should normally. Or Hobo, 160. Rekakova, not sure what it is, but she is finally into good shape. So Rekakova is the first one of the three to regain some semblance of form. You can see the physical condition, the morale is super high for all of them, but we just, we've been rock bottom in this area for quite some time. We're down to two that are weak, and one has improved to good after reaching that semifinal. This is, I'd say, a big period for us, a big opportunity to make some progress, really, for all three different tournaments for everyone. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. The second and third rounds should be slam dunks for Clarice. Can she get through? Can she proceed? Does she have the ability? Barely. Ah, gosh. This is getting difficult to watch. It's it's hard right now. I'm really finding things d difficult. All three proceed, though. Quarterfinal. Again, this is only a couple spots ranked higher than our first round opponent. We're looking at an easy semifinal. Well, easy as in the wild card is almost in the same ranking range. But is it enough for us to get through? No. <laughs> no. Oh. We are, we are in such a downward spiral here for about a year and a half. Clarice climbs into a certain level of the rankings and starts getting forced into tournaments. And it's absolutely destroyed her. Absolutely destroyed her. She is making no progress. She's going backwards. And we can't even be crappy players any longer because of the, the lack of form. And you've got to beat the crappy players to get the form back, but she can't even beat them on a regular basis. This might bring her up, you know, a notch. We're a little lost at the moment, and the solution doesn't seem obvious. Other than, what's the best chance that I'm seeing right now for us to progress? What's, what's happening to Thurman's ranking? It's falling, right? It's falling dramatically. If we can get her out of those forced tournaments, it's going to take a little bit. A few wins and then a loss against a bad opponent. But then you come into the next tournament, get a few wins, and then lose to a bad opponent. Slowly, that is going to get that form to improve. What we need right now is to avoid those big tournaments like the plague. But... Thurman's expectations are so much higher than before. So how do we balance her expectations with the reality of right now you suck. Get your shit together. Versus, hey, my shit don't stink. I should be amazing. I want to be the best in the world. Every single player wants to be the best in the world. Actually, a few of them. A few of them know that they don't belong there and they're just content with being a pro. And they tend to have happy careers and, and get by and have occasional success. The expectations balancing with she's just not good enough. Whew. It's tough right now. It's, um, I'm at a loss right now. This is far challenging than any previous tennis manager version there has been without a doubt balancing's good the game's tough but getting the climb versus overstepping we overstepped earlier we picked up a few easy points we had great form and we climbed above the ability of what our rank was and now we're coming crashing back down or hobo 
Similar level tournament, same problem. Rekarkova, though, meanwhile, has reached a final. I am not interfering with this. No way, no how. Have at it. And she has won. One, one player is fighting for him. The other two made it through a couple rounds. Can that be a little boost? Can that boost be enough? I've tried to go for a little less training, a little more set of weaker tournaments to start building that form so that we can be competitive. Here's to hoping that that's working because training obviously is hugely important if we're going to actually be a top 30 player. We have to be a top 30 player, not just in rank, not just in the points we've picked up, but in the quality. Right now, I mean, we're struggling with beating somebody like Taylor Townsend or, you know, anything we have in these first three rounds. They all look like they could be challenging for us in the current state of uh, affairs. Townsend's on medium form. Maybe that gives us a chance that we are both similar. Oh my goodness. I, I don't know what else to do. I mean, we're, we're dipping so low on the tournament front to be able to get some form. Maybe I'm being too stingy with the points. Maybe I literally need to throw her into the lowest pro tournament levels so that she really does, no matter how bad her form is, find a way to outplay her opponents and go all the way through a tournament and get some form. Play a couple of those back to back and she'll have some form finally. Maybe. Or she'll just keep right on losing to literally anyone. Heading into a new week, Rekarkova is the only one going in a positive direction while Thurman and Urhoba are struggling. But their shape is medium. But now all of a sudden we've got two weeks until our next tournament, which means that's going to drop back down. This is the first time in a while that I had two weeks off. We should have done well in both of those tournaments, bringing that shape up where after two weeks it would settle at medium. Now if we go two weeks without a tournament, it's going to drop back down to week and we're going to be right where we started because we just couldn't progress, right? Ah, yay, yay. I was trying to get some training in. I think it's too late to try to add a tournament for Thurman, but I'll see if I can. Bold strategy time because nothing else is working. So I'm throwing in three 60 level tournaments at the start of the hard season, which means we're coming out of another Grand Slam here in a moment with uh, potentially nothing going for us, but three straight 60 level tournaments, three weeks in a row, no time in between. We are forcing some form in to Thurman. Let's see if she actually steps up and makes it happen. But that's still a little ways out because we've already passed the point of registration for this upcoming stretch. Urhobo continues to share the same problems that she had previously, also losing in the first round just like Thurman, and then Rekarkova with form just keeps right on winning and has won an 80 level tournament. So her progression has been mighty. Now we've got to work on her training a bit and try to balance that with uh, uh, an active schedule. We're heading into Wimbledon where Hobo knocked out in the very first round has not done anything in any way, shape, or form, and yet is asking to renegotiate. That's a strange one. Uh, but again, this is not our big source of the money. I'm going to go neutral on this one. She hasn't done anything to earn it. Uh, but we'll we'll give her a 2% reduction, which will make her slightly less happy, but not totally pissed off. And for me, why would I give her... Everything she asks when she has done absolutely nothing in two years, uh, and especially of late, she hasn't gotten beyond the first round in ages. Andrescu, with a forfeit, her current number one, is out of Wimbledon. Rekarkova is in the junior Wimbledon tournament, so we only have the other two in the seniors. And Urhobo losing to Fervertova. Okay, that's understandable. Layla Fernandez, another top seed that has forfeited in the first round. That's going to weaken the field a little bit there. But Thurman gets a difficult draw in Nagunye. Even if we do somehow survive this one, 
I, it's looking really bad for the second round, and of course we don't. Well, we don't have any form. I'm like, I'm looking at a six and a six. How did we not win in two sets? Because tiebreakers. We lost the first set. Six, seven, six, four, three, six. Oh, so close. And yet another struggle for Thurman. And this year plus now has just been one incredible struggle. Almost good to see. It's so frustrating for me. I'm wanting to just dump this series in the bin. It's so hard right now between all the injuries and the total lack of form that we can't seem to find, even no matter how low we, we dip down into crappy tournament territory, we still can't seem to pull out the victories. She's won one tournament in a year and a half. One. This is what it's like to be a pro, though, isn't it? She is making progress attribute-wise, but it's so much slower now, now that she's towards the top end, and now that she's not so young. So with slowed progress, it's really hard to reach that next level. And it's apparently harder just to find form yikes uh work remains to be cut out for us it really 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 does at least one of our three athletes is doing well was clearly better than her hobo already so no surprise that she's flying up the rankings and can get to probably about where thurman is right now what i don't want to see is the same trap that thurman fell right into like there's a giant bear trap ahead of you. You're walking down the path. It's not camouflaged at all. It's so obvious that it's right there, but she steps right into it. And hook, line, sinker, she's in deep. Our best chance right now, though, is falling out of that range. We're forced into those tournaments so that we can get get a break from those. Get Just get us a period of time. Get those weak tournaments. May take it might take a little bit, but get there, right? Struggle through the first one, but get a little form. Struggle through the second one, but get a little deeper and get more form. Win the third one, have the form, and get back to it. That, that's that's all all I feel like we can do right now to find a way to get back into a state of progression instead of this long term regression with just the, the smallest amount of attribute progression. It's it's tough right now. And that's not all bad. That's not all bad. It's a challenge. We wanted to challenge. Remember, you know, season one, season two, the financial struggles we went through where Thurman just progressed regularly. Never did become a junior champion of, of any report. And here we are seniors you know okay fine Ooh, we've won some tournaments they were small tournaments so we have yet to prove anything in this turn in this series anything thanks for sticking with me while we continue to struggle can we finally get back on the right foot and and start progressing again is a huge huge ask let's let the uh, Wimbledon Junior figure finish out for uh, Rekarkova. So keeping an eye on what's happening with Rekarkova. Is she even competing? Yes, she is. Okay, round of 16. She was the number one junior, uh, despite not even playing. Quarterfinal, semifinal. She is in the Wimbledon Junior final. Not my place to intervene. Plus, even though this episode I know is still a little bit on the short side, I'm, I'm too disheartened <laughs> to even step in, and she has. That wasn't a junior. That was. It's a week later. It's a week later. That was just a senior tournament, a small senior tournament, but it is another victory. She's fresh. She's beaming. She's excellent in her shape. Rekarkova is going to head into that junior tournament, that Wimbledon junior, in fine form and has every opportunity to come away a winner. She has won one previously, but it was not with us. Now, next episode, I feel, hopefully, that we can uh, step up and do that and feel confident to do that. Right now, I'm just too disheartened to even see somebody else besides Thurman play because I'm just banging my head up against the wall with Thurman going, come on, 
throw me a bone here. I'm throwing you bone after bone after bone after bone, and you're just looking at me and wagging your tail. Stare, looking over at the bone and just looking back at me like, you're gonna go chase that, right? Yeah? Yeah? I'm the Catholic Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.